Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm Ali from MathX. It's so good to see you. Well, today we're going to solve this equation. And uh, to do that, you don't need a lot of formulas. Well, all you need to know is this, which is probably something you already know. So it's not a difficult question. So you can do it on your own if you try. You just need to be a little creative. Okay, so to start, okay, if x is 1, what happens to the left-hand side? 1 to power of 1 to power of 1 to power of 4, all of this will be 1, okay? However, what happens if x is 2? Well, what happens to this side? It would be 2 to power of 2 to power of 2 to power of 4. This is 16. So 2 to power, it's going to be huge, right? So safe to say that x is supposed to be, okay, between 1 and 2. And much closer to 1 because you just see you saw what happened. Okay. I want you to go on and guess a value, okay, for x, because we're going to check together. Is it going to be, and then round your answer to a decimal, maybe 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 okay, what will it be, okay? And then we're going to solve it and check together to see if we guess right or not, okay? So as the first step, I'm going to call this t, okay? So x to power of four equals t. If I do that, okay, I will add the fourth root to the both sides, okay? And then what happens here? You could see what happens here. We're going to just use this formula. Okay, when we do this, this side will be x equals, okay, remember fourth root of t, right? Fourth root of t. Okay, but I'm, go I'm not going to write it in this form. I'm going to write it in this form. So it will be t to power of one over four. Okay, now let's go and rewrite the equation in terms of t. So it will be t to power of 1 over 4. That was the first x. The second x, again, t to power of 1 over 4. Ooh, I'm running out of space here. Okay. And all of this was t, right? To power of t. Okay. This was the second x to power of t. Okay. Now to save space, okay. I'm going to use this, right? If we have n to power of m, right? We could multiply them. So I'm going to go to save a space, a space, I'm going to multiply these two. So that would be one over four multiplied by t, which would be t over four. Okay. So I'm going to go, instead of these two, I'm going to go write t over four. Let's go. Okay. So this would be, we do this basically to save space. One over four, okay. And then T to power of T over four. It just looks a little simpler. The, all of this, well, equals four still, right? the right-hand side. Okay, 
Now what to do? It looks even weirder than when we began, right? So I'm going to get rid of this one over four. How? I'm going to go at hours to everything we have. It's going to look a little weird. Sorry, guys. Okay, so both of them to power up for now pay attention what we're going to do. Okay, see, I'm going to use these two, right? Look, we are able to swap these two. M and right, replace. So if I call this M and this one, if I call it N, well, I want to do this. I want to go N goes in, M out. So I want to do this. I want to change your space. Um, so it would be, okay, let's write it here. T to power of one over four. Four goes in, right? So to power of four. Okay, this will not be out. To power of T to power of T over four. It looks so weird, doesn't it? Okay. Now let's see. We're going to use this one. Okay. Mm. N and M, right? N to power of M, right? We could just multiply these two. So that means I will multiply one over four by four. I'll get a one. So this will be one. Okay. And then we'll have T to power of one, which will be T. What does it mean? That means all of this is just T. Okay, let's go. If all of that is T, well, it looks a lot simpler. And by the way, I forgot this four over here. I should write it here. All right, that was the four still there. Okay, so all of this was T to power of T to power of T over four equals four to power of four. And to create this, I'm going to add one, right? I'm allowed to do that. Four to power of one, again, four. And uh, magic. You see, by comparison, we know that T is four, right? So T is four. That's brilliant, isn't it? Okay. So if T is four, I'm going to go right here. Four. Okay, what happens then? Okay, x to power of four. Would be four. Okay. So let's see if we want. So let's see, x would be the force roots of four. Okay, it could also be negative value of it, right? So it would be positive and negative, right? So that would be positive. Okay, so yeah, positive and negative. Okay, so but the question is not over. So remember, you guessed the value of x. So let's go and find the value of x. Let's go. So we're going to write 4. And we want the force root of 4. Did you guess that right? Oh, so the answer would be, I expected personally to be smaller, so... 
Okay, it's just 1.4 something. In my head was 1.1 or something. So what was wrong? I don't know if you were right. So that's enough for today. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and you want to see more questions like this, you know what to do.